Kim Marburger from the Fulton County Public Library. Hi, I'm Kristen. I'm also from the Fulton County Public Library. And today we're going to be making memo boards or memo calendars. Um, they're like the ones that you put on your uh, refrigerator, but they're a little bit fancier and they look really cute on the wall. This is the memo calendar. And then over here we have uh, memo boards. So you can do either one of these and they're very quick, very simple. So what we did, um, we went to Goodwill, picked up a bunch of old picture frames. This one I did nothing to, I just left it black. Um, basically, I'm gonna flip it over here and I'm gonna show you at the end, it's gonna look like this. And what you have to do to make the calendar, um, here's a bigger version. Take your calendar apart, take your picture frame apart. Um, glass is very sharp. Please be very, very careful. Take it apart. You're gonna end up with your piece of glass. You're gonna want to clean your glass with alcohol. Just plain old alcohol and a um, paper towel. Clean both sides. Then you're gonna make your calendar. Um, what you wanna do is on any size, remember you gotta have at least an inch to a half inch all, all the way around the sides. You're not going to be able to reach in and put anything on your member board if you don't. So I played with mine on a piece of paper and I drew a grid. You can actually go to Microsoft Office, Microsoft Word, and you can um, get these and print them off and just enlarge them. I just played around on a piece of paper. Um, first I did it on newspaper. You can't don't use newspaper. It's very hard to see your lines. Just get a plain piece of paper. You can tape them together. I just have to have this. I'm going to have Kristen show you. Again, remember this is sharp. Here I just lay your glass on the board, on your grid. All you have to do is, now I have a small one, but you can get a bigger one, and Sharpies. Permanent Sharpie. Just remember, whatever material you're going to put back behind your picture frame is going to depend on what color Sharpie you use. If you use a dark material like the burlap, you're going to want black or real dark brown. Um, you know, the other memo boards we did have a lot of color, so you could get by with a light color. But we're going to use dark blue. I'm going to have Kristen. All you have to do is you're going to trace the outline, just like coloring. You're going to line this up and you're just gonna trace it. It's okay if you screw up, mess up, it's fine. Alcohol, rub it, even though it's permanent, even though it's dried, I did this and it was dried for like three or four days. Alcohol takes it right off so you can start all over. All you do is trace it. You have to do one up. And like on this one here, the same thing I did up here, I left a little space up at the top. That way I could write April, May, June, July. And I made my squares bigger. I always have a lot going on, so I like a bigger. So yep. Yeah. <laughs> and you'll see right here, it, that's fine. All you would do then is take your alcohol wipe, just go straight up and get the excess off. Once you're done, you would just take your board, put it all back together, and we'll show you, we have all colors of uh, materials that you can put. I use burlap. It seems to look really good back behind on your bigger ones. Um, material, if you're gonna use material, that's fine, but iron it first. You don't want any of those creases. Once you put it back together, you're gonna put your glass in it. You're gonna put your backing back in it. And then I have found the easiest way to, so you can change it out at any time. I just took tape. Now this is masking tape. You can also use the blue painter tape. That is much easier to work with. It's forgiving, it will hold just fine. Just tape it together, squish it down in there. Excess, no fancy markings. I just taped it all back together. And then it hangs on your wall. I got tired of my refrigerator being all cluttered. That's very simple. And for these, this picture frame is kind of cute. The only thing I did, again, you take it apart. Now this one here is a little harder because it's got different. I just 
scrapbook paper. Scrapbooking paper. I like the color. Put it together. And actually, some of these I have some of these flowers. Let's see if I get my paper up. Face down. Put it back together. And now you have you could layer your flowers. They're gonna lay flat. And then you have a cute little something else decorated for memo board. This one here, we took an action, we did it here at work. I used uh, milk paint. And then uh, milk paint, this was already painted brown. It was really bad. So we went over with milk paint, sandpaper, and I used really, really coarse sandpaper. Because um, to get through milk paint, you have to use a little bit of coarse sandpaper. And it just scuffed up the edges. We put a really cute piece of scrapbooking paper back behind it. And then we found these little stickers that were in our scrapbooking kit and we just put memo on it. A dry erase board. Miss ya. Leave a little note for the husband or the kids for the day. Grocery list. And again, it's dry erase. So this, you get a little bit wet, just dry erase it and you're done. Basically, and then um, some of the other ones we took and we made little flowers out of burlap. Kind of spruces them up a little bit. This one we just painted with regular paint. And this time I sealed the milk paint with a, um, you can get a wax or a varnish and it's for milk paint. You can get it at Walmart, um, Joanne Fabrics, Michaels. The acrylic paint. Yeah. And it's not expensive at all. And with milk paint, you brush it on it dries really quick, just real quick. Let it dry. And this is two coats. Again, we scuffed it up. We just cut a piece of burlap out of material, let it fray. We just glued all the way around. And then we made little burlap flowers, or you could even do this, and we just glued them on with the glue gun. And those are our memo boards for today. Mm -hmm.